what's going on everyone? Inkaholic here with episode 4 from my Minaholic server. Uh, we've got a few changes. We finally decided to put up some enchantment bookcases and using all those books from that we got from the stronghold. And I've had uh, a few problems uh, lately that having to deal with the horses. Um, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but for some reason when you leave and you come back your horses that you have tied up to a fence post or whatever will be walking astray or gone completely uh we can't figure it out can't figure it out if it's mobs that are messing with the horses or or what it is so um hell i found pedro my donkey in the nether you know the nether portals right outside uh, the corner of the house here and I came back home I think it was at Jay's or something I came home and anyways Pedro was gone I was like oh no where'd Pedro go he's nowhere to be found and later that evening I go to the nether portal and he's in the little cobblestone room that I built around the nether portal in the nether and it took me forever just to get him to go back through it I it was so hard but I did get them, did get them home, and that's why I have this little hole here that I have them in now, so that they don't go anywhere. <laughs> I feel so bad, horsey holic. Um. So yeah. Uh. Today's mission, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a swamp biome, Mr. Pedro and I, since he has the extra storage compartment, and him and I are gonna go to a swamp biome, and we're gonna go gather some clay. And no, horsey holic, you stay in the hole. You are not coming this time. No, bad horsey. Stay. Stay. Good horse. All right, Pedro, you ready? Let's ride. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do that, I want to make shovel. Duh. I think I'm going to break down. I've got a bunch of XP here. I'm going to make a diamond shovel, which is something that I normally don't make, but... I'm going to be digging a lot of clay, so I'll go ahead. I made three iron shovels for backups, and I guess I'll go ahead and slap a bunch of enchantments on this diamond one real quick, and if i got any left over, I'll put them on these uh, iron shovels as well. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go to a swamp biome. We're going to get some clay, uh, make some hard clay blocks, obviously, dye them up, and make ourselves a little barn. Uh, basically, I just, I want to have an enclosed, you know, lit up room that I can drive my horses into and, and keep them protected from mobs and hopefully, you know, put a stop to this, uh, issue that we're having with the leads breaking and things like that. Like I said, I don't know if it's the leads are breaking because they're just not strong enough or if it's mobs that are, you know, like a creeper comes by or something like that, or zombie or whatever, I, I don't know. Um, I haven't had any of my animals die, but I have had them cut loose before, and I, I don't know why. Um, and sadly enough, like, the animal spawning, um, I don't know if this is a server thing or... Um, it's a 1.6 thing or what, but the animals are, have been a big issue on here too. Um, I can't have any animal farms because animals are, you know, they spawn and they despawn. Just like a, a mob would, you know, regular mob would, or a hostile mob I should say. Uh, so, back when I was living over there by the little mountain, um, I had found, you know, three cows and I dug a hole and pushed them all in there and went back the next day and they're all gone. So I was like, okay, well, that's really weird. And then Jay, uh, Jay Bull came on and said, uh, all his cows that he had fenced up were gone. So, you know, the animals, they will be there for one minute and then you walk away and they'll despawn. So like I said, I don't know if it's a server thing. It might be a 1.6 thing, but it's a thing, and I don't like it. So I just kind of, I've been killing animals, you know, cows and stuff as they spawn out there in front of the house in the yard. Uh, just not, you know, I don't have a necessary farm uh, I'm keeping them in. So, all right. Well, we got us some clay now, so Pedro and I are heading back home. 
And see, look, there's a horse that wasn't there before. It was just randomly there. Uh, you know, sometimes you'll be standing out here and all of a sudden, bam, magically, there'd be like four horses or a bunch of donkeys or something. Just, you know, a handful of pigs will just magically appear. And then they, you go away and they come back and they're gone. So, whatever. Hush up, Pedro. Put you guys on another lead. All right, there you go. Let's get out of this hole here. I just realized my iron helmet's gone. Almost all my iron's gone. Or armor, I should say. Okay, whoa. Um, let's see. Let's get this out. And we need to offload all this stuff because I have all my clay in Pedro's trunk. <laughs> Go back out here and get it real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't want to jump on him. Let me open up his inventory. Got a shift click. There we go. And I got some red roses too, because I already have a few, but I'm going to get some more. Um, I'll be dyeing the hardened clay blocks red to make kind of like a red barn kind of thing, I guess. I don't know. All right, got that going. Okay, now a couple days have passed, and I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because I was trying to find a good spot to put the barn, and being on the dirt, so many multi levels, I want to just go ahead and. I've been taking water buckets and clearing all the uh, tall grass out, and I'm taking the shovel and leveling out and trying to make a good flat surface to work off of and clean up the area. And as you see, I put cobblestone up here because, yet again, these guys got loose again. So, I, you know, I don't know what to do. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to be making a red barn here in the backyard. And what I'm going to do is I have plans for putting a um, like a bud switch or not a bud switch a uh, T flip flop underground and have the doors piston activated so that you know you have to hit a button to get in and you have to hit a button to get out and lock up the doors and hopefully that will at least keep the horses in there if the leads do break but uh, you know it'll look nice too so and give It'd be like a little garage that <clears throat> people come by to uh, visit. They can park their horses in there. Uh, I've got Austin lives kind of in the backyard here. Just you might might see his little bridge he's got. I think he's working on something underground. And then I've got my friend Drain and Clips, who's got a little underground house out in the front yard. So we're kind of in close proximity to one another, the three of us. And uh, like I said, I don't think that this is going to be my permanent house, uh, or at least, well, at least not a permanent house. It might be my permanent location, but um, you know, I think I might expand the house a little later on down the future. We'll just have to see. Um, but yeah, I like these uh, these clay blocks. I'm not too keen on the colors. The colors are, you know, a little. A little bland and they're not really you know like this red just doesn't like I wish it was like red 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 like the roses you know that's red this is kind of like a pukey orange looking color it's I don't know I just don't really care for them that much and I was gonna use some white uh, you know bone meal to make white clay blocks but they kind of look creamy there's Austin's bridge in the background uh, yeah, the, the white doesn't even look white. It looks like a cream color. And, and I think what I'll do is I'll go back and probably trim this out with some quartz because the quartz is white, white. So let me just find the center of this real quick. Right there. We'll dig it out three high. So that's plenty of room for me on top of a horse to get in. And then what I'm going to do is come out um, two more blocks, and that will give me room to put all my uh, redstone. Because I'm I'm gonna do a three by two piston activated door, like I said, with a button out here, so I can ride up, hit a button, door opens up, 
go inside and hit another button or something to close it all up behind me and hopefully keep my horses safe. Um, just thinking about what I want to do here. Let's see, we'll put this right here. And like I said, the piston door will be in the center of this. So that'll give me room and it'll cover it all up. And it'll look nice when it's all done. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I've had a couple of good adventures. Uh, nothing, you know, worthy of recording. Just, you know, going out mining and things like that. But uh, I had... Uh, dude one two three uh stopped by my house for a visit and i hooked him up with some stuff he come he come over he didn't even have any iron armor on i'm like are you crazy you know you gotta have some armor on around here so uh i offered him some armor and he didn't want any but i did give him some like a golden chest plate i got from the nether when we went to the nether uh, found found a couple um chests in the um, nether stronghold uh, I think Austin and I were there and we found a bunch of stuff so you always find like gold armor and stuff in there so I gave him a gold chest plate at least to wear and was showing him the nether portal and showed him the horses and you know where everybody's living and so on and so forth and uh, showed him the end portal or at least how to get to it and down below is a mine shaft so we just kind of like one thing led to another, and we're down there. Next thing you know, we're, you know, so far away, Alf in the mine underground somewhere. We just, we started mining, and we were there for a long time. I mean, my God, probably a good hour or two we were down mining. And we got so much stuff. Uh, we actually had to stop, smelt the iron, and <laughs> make an anvil down in the caves just to repair the stuff that we had because it's like I couldn't even find my way back out. We just had to dig up. And oddly enough, when we were there, uh, we had stopped and, and made an anvil and was smelting some stuff. And I needed like, I had 20, I think I had like 27 XP and I needed 29 to repair my pick. So I started smelting the cobblestone, just making stone, just just for the XP. And I'm sitting there, and I'm looking through the, the, you know, looking at the wall, and I see a name, and I'm like, who, who in the world is that? And it was, it was uh, my buddy Draining Clips. Was we we had mined all the way over to where he was at, and he was mining at the same time. And we didn't even know it, and uh, he, I think he was AFK, and I scared him because I poked through the wall, and I think he was had another window open on his computer or something, but. It was kind of funny, you know, there wasn't but, you know, four of us on the server, two of us were mining together, and another one was mining by himself, and we actually ran into each other all the way down there at the bottom, looking for diamonds, so. Funny little story that was. You should have been there. Anywho. Alright. Um, but yeah, then we went over to visit uh, Jay. Uh, so if you haven't uh, seen his Minaholic videos, uh, be sure to check out uh, I Know My PC, uh, that's Dude's channel, Dude123, and J Bull's channel, um, what was it, J Stewart 1990 I think is his YouTube channel, so be sure to check those out, uh, those guys are on here and they're making videos as well, so uh, eventually when I get a, a, a definite, um, what's the word I want to use? you know, list of people that are on here and that's going to be making videos and stuff. I'm going to start tagging everybody in, you know, all my videos and hopefully they'll do the same. And that way, you know, you'll be able to see different perspectives from the other guys on the server and see what they're doing in relation to what I'm doing and so on and so forth. So I think it should all turn out well. And right now we're just kind of, I told everybody to keep an eye out for Enderman and try to kill him to get uh, Ender Pearls. So uh, we can go to the end, and hopefully all of us will go together at one time and defeat the Ender Dragon. Kind of make a big spectacle out of it. So, all right. Well, I got all the redstone run, and I'm just kind of filling in area here. I uh, didn't have any dirt. I had to go dig up some real quick. I'll light this up down here so I don't have any random 
creepers and skeletons and zombies and whatnot spawning down here. And let's see, put that there. Some dirt. There we go. I think all this should be fine. Yep. All right, let's get out of here. Gotta love the rain. But yeah, I think all of us going to the end and defeating the Ender Dragon together will be pretty fun. It'll make for a good episode. Hopefully something will happen hilarious, like one of us will die, and you guys will get a laugh and like the video, and everything will be cool. And why didn't that work? Um, hmm. Oh, that works. Okay. Well, let's do some investigating then. Mm, that's why I didn't put it down too low. Duh. I'm new. I've never laid redstone down before in my entire life. <laughs> wow. Can't believe I did that. There we go. Now I gotta get out of here. <laughs> All right. Just put the dirt back here, here, and here. And now it should be good. No, what's going on now? Uh, if I was a betting man, I'd say that I've probably pinched the redstone wire somewhere. So let's backtrack here real quick. Let's see what we got. Yeah, right there. That block. Yeah, there we go. Now it'll work. Alright, so let's put the dirt back one more time. Hopefully the last time. And the pressure plate. And now it should close. There we go. Alright. So, I can run up with the horses, hit the button, go inside, and as I'm walking inside with the horses, I hit the pressure plate, and the door will close behind me. Alright, let me go in here and get a half slab real quick, and I'll fill in that hole. Just need one, not 41. All right. Wish it would stop raining. All right. So we put this in there, and that's good. All right, so now we need some horses. Put a little torch out here. Another one out here. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Make sure everything works. Yep. And you walk in and it closes behind you. Good deal. Nice and dry and safe in here. Alright, so let's uh, close it up. And let's go get... Let's go get Pedro. So we got your new home there, Pedro. Let's get um, some fence post made. We'll put in there. Give uh, something the horses can be tied up to. I need. Get rid of all this stuff. I got like no room. I need to like start organizing my chest a little bit better. This is just a chaos. <clears throat> Make a chest and I'll be able to put my leads and things like that in there. There we go. And what else? 
Anything else? Anything? Um, <laughs> I can take some slime balls and take this little bit of string and put that in there. And what else do I got? Do, 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 do. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. It's just stone. Okay. All right, Pedro. Ready to relocate? Get rid of some of this stuff out the way. And knock this off, even though I can't even see it. It says there's like a bad glitch with the leads. I don't know what's going on with that. All right, back up, because if I jump on you now, I'm going to suffocate and die. Back up, Pedro. Back up. There we go. Not good. Stop right now. Alright, and look at the amount of health this thing has got. I was breeding these guys, and when I I had bred them and made a, another horse. Hey, there you go. It works. And the uh, offspring, I guess you would say, uh, disappeared. It despawned. So I, you know, didn't even get to... Uh, tame it or nothing. I just had, had bred it one night and left it in there in the hole with them. Came back the next day, it was gone. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. So I'm putting these fence posts up in the air so that I'm not having to walk into them or around them. I can walk underneath them. They're not being in the way. Maybe that'll help with the leads not breaking. I, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't really... <coughs> excuse me. Don't even really know what the story is with that. Ta -da. There you go, Pedro. Welcome home. He's a happy donkey. Okay, let's put this chest right here. String, slime balls, leads. Mm, yeah, I guess I don't really need anything else in there that I know of. See, where do I want to put some more over here? There we go. And put one on the other side, and that'll give two spots for people to put their horse if they come here. So if you guys are watching, come on over. Come by the barn, park your horse, come inside. We'll have a nice glass of milk, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> All right torch on there too yep all right and we'll go right here and put a torch on top of this one and this one ta-da all right good deal good deal now let's go get a uh, mr. horsey holic bring him in here Yeah, put in some water in case they want to splash around in the water a little bit. Got one bucket on me. Actually, let me dump it out in there. Then I can go fill it up and bring it back. There we go. All right, so we're going to fill this up real quick and go dump it off in there. Have a little endless water supply for whatever reason. Aesthetics, I guess you could say. There we go. That way you guys can play in the water. Now we can go outside and go get Mr. Hollick. Let me close this because I want to make sure that I can open it while I'm on him. Ooh, there's a pigman in the portal. Oh, man, he does not want to be in that hole. He has been in there for a couple of days now. He's really pissed. All right, right on. And hit the button. There we go. All right, there we go. And hop off. 
Let's tie him up over here. There we go. All right. You guys got a nice, pretty little barn to live in now. Everybody's happy. Hmm. Got lots of light, water. Good times, good times. I'll go back and I'll put some windows in, decorate it up a little bit. And like I said, once I go to the nether on a quartz run, I'll bring some quartz back and uh, trim it out. All right, guys. Well, this has been Inkaholic here on the Minaholic server. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it's been a long episode, but uh, please be sure to stay tuned for the next episode. And we will see you guys then. Take care. Thanks for watching.